guys, thank you so much. Hello, Slush. Hello, friends. Great to be here. Yeah, so my name is Oscar Sander. I am the co-founder and CEO of Wondercraft. I don't know about you guys, but I have this long-standing love affair with audio and music and storytelling throughout my career um, at some of these companies that you see here on, on stage. And spoken storytelling predates the written language by tens of thousands of years, right? So our brains are naturally wired to respond deeply to the spoken word. And I think this is a reason why I'm sure you all have a deep relationship with audio storytelling and why also audio storytelling and narrative audio is so important for us today. If you're a startup here today, you can't be a startup or a brand without telling stories and um, yeah, telling your authentic stories. And what we do as Wondercraft is that we are a, a creative studio that enables you to produce audio faster and cheaper and more accessibly than ever before. And we do so, let's see here. <clears throat> we got started in February this year. We launched our platform. We're backed by Y Combinator, Eleven Labs, some of these AI models out there. Um, we have now 100,000 users around the world in 50 countries and span 30 different languages um, already and really bringing down the, uh, the, the taking down the language barriers for you to tell stories around the world. And we want to work with enterprises like Amazon, Group M, The Hollywood Reporter, IBM, and so forth. So what type of content are they really producing? Well, voiced narration increasingly fit our AirPods-fueled lifestyles, right? Podcasts, I'm sure a lot of you listen to podcasts every day, audiobooks, uh, voiceovers for videos, social media, um, advertising for Spotify and YouTube, sleep stories, or even personalized meditations. So a lot of these use cases that are very important. But instead of me just talking about what we do at Wondercraft, I am going to show and have you listen to some stuff that we can do. So in our studio, you can write your stories from scratch or you can use AI to help you come up with, with drafts of your stories that you want to create. Or you can even start from existing projects like PDFs or images or even other audio formats. So um, we're going to use play around with this and have some fun with it. Are you OK with that? Great. OK. Sounding, resounding answer there. Lovely. Um, but we're going to do this. How many of you, uh, show of hands, how many of you have played around with Google Notebook LM, for example? Well, quite a few of you. Um, it's been a great growth driver for us. Really makes audio very approachable. So I'm going to do this. I've created a little um, Notebook LM style podcast that we can listen to. And then we're going to bring that into the studio and Wondercraft and um, yeah, have some fun with it. We are talking about Slush 2024. Absolutely. Which they call the most founder-focused event on Earth. And they're not wrong. So let's, uh, let's find out why. Yeah, Slush. All right, that was a little sample. It's a start of a podcast, two people narrating that. But the thing is with the Google Notebook of them, I can't really edit the script. I can't really personalize and make it my own. So what we can do in, in Wondercraft here is just showcase how easy it is to create audio, is that we're going to drag and drop it into our studio, like so. And then we are going to identify that audio and separate all the speakers and voices. And now we're in our studio environment. And this is where you see that the creativity really comes in. So what I'm going to do is I make this into a podcast about Wondercraft. Let's call it Wondercraft Wonders Weekly, Founders Weekly. Um, and let's have a listen to a new introduction to our personalized podcast. Hey, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Wondercraft Founders Weekly. I'm your host, Oscar, and this episode is going to be all about Slush, the conference which everyone calls the most founder-focused event on Earth. And that's a good start, right? But it wasn't my voice. Maybe if I want to personalize it, I'm going to make it into my own voice. So I can sit at an airport and write these, uh, these stories and make them into real audio narrations. So what I'm going to do now is that um, I'm going to get my own voice to um, let's see if this works. I am going to clone my own voice. 
So the cool thing with Wondercraft is you can have hundreds of different fantastic voice characters, and you can also record your own voice and make a clone out of it. You can even upload a little clip. In this case, I'm going to create a, a, a replica of my, of my voice using a little audio clip that I've recorded. And I can save that to my library to apply to any of my projects. And now we are going to apply my new voice or my AI version of my voice to this script and have a listen to what that sounds like. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Wondercraft Founders Weekly. I'm your host, Oscar, and this episode is going to be all about Slush, the conference which everyone calls the most founder-focused event on Earth. Not bad, right? But we're not really there yet. <laughs> what, what we want to do, and the Wondercraft difference is really our creatives around the world, they want to be able to have creative control of all their voices. So what we're going to do now is go on a little journey to make this really unique. And one thing that we're going to do, <clears throat> if I can click on here, is to manipulate the voice a little bit with parrot mode. So if I want to specifically sound like my voice. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Wondercraft Founders Weekly. I'm your host, Oscar, and this episode is going to be all about Slush, the conference which everyone calls the most founder-focused event on Earth. And this is where parrot mode comes in. This lets me use my microphone. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Wondercraft Founders Weekly. I'm your host, Oscar, and this episode is going to be all about Slush, the conference which everyone calls the most founder-focused event on Earth. And parrot mode is fantastic for voice actors, for creatives to really act out all their voices, right? But it has a little bit of a uh, downside. Now, I have a very Swedish-American accent. I'm sure you can detect that. And that comes through in parrot mode. So what we can do now is use another version of our platform <clears throat> to manipulate the voices. Um, Let's see here what we can do. I'm going to move on. Now, I can also create different styles. So say that I wanted to have me in a British or Australian accent. I can switch over to that. I can also change the emotional tone that I want in my voice. But let's listen to me in a British hey folks, style. Welcome back to another episode of Wondercraft Founders Weekly. I'm your host, Oscar, and this episode is going to be all about Slush, the conference which everyone calls the most founder-focused event on Earth. And I can apply that to my voice. But again, <clears throat> we can have, doesn't stop there. We can do a lot more. What if I could also tell my character, um, in this case, to imitate someone else? So parrot mode, uh, my Swedish accent comes through, but maybe I want this perfect uh, British accent, or I want to sound like someone else. We can ask AI Oscar here to imitate another character. In this case, could be something like- Dance like the universe Alfred. is watching and spin tales as colorful as the cosmos itself. Or maybe I want a more charming, uh, thick Italian accent, like Giovanni. Why can some people change and others cannot? And I can apply Oscar to Giovanni, and I will sound like hey this. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Wondercraft Founders Weekly. I'm your host, Oscar, and this episode is going to be all about Slash, the conference which everyone calls the most founder-focused event on Earth. But again, it does not stop there. We also have introduced, what if you want to have a specific style of delivering a text. Like you wanted a southern drawl, you wanted it to be laughing and happy or sad in the end. We have now developed a way for you to do that. So you can actually have a conversation with your AI voice in director mode. Director mode lets you type and prompt your voice to deliver it the way that you want it. So for instance, I'm in slush here, a lot of amazing people in the crowd, I'm a little nervous. Let's have Oscar be insecure and stutter. Hey folks, uh, welcome back to another episode of Wondercraft Founders Weekly. I I'm your host, Oscar, and this episode is, is um, going to be all... That is quite painful to listen to, if I'm honest. 
But this can go in any direction. And you can have Oscar speak with uh, food in his mouth in different accents. But it doesn't stop there. Our creatives around the world not only create narrative audio and making that 95% cheaper and more, cost, more time efficient than ever before, but they can also mix it together with music and sound effects and really create the vision of what they're looking for, making audio way more accessible to brands, marketers, creative agencies, audio platforms all around the world to make their creations heard and their voices heard as well. So this doesn't just make audio production faster than it have ever has before. Wondercraft has now become kind of a, a, a must-have tool in the modern marketer's toolkit. Because without audio storytelling, you're missing a huge part of how we listen to stories as humans. And it is a massive space out there where we are breaking into that and really lowering the barrier of entry and the accessibility to these tools to be able to tell stories. Because any of you who have been creating audio out there know exactly how hard it is to get it right, and this makes it very, very succinct. So we're making it easy and enjoyable to bring your voice, your ideas, and your creativity to life. And that's it. So join us, wondercraft.ai. I'm happy to see you there and to tell your own stories. Thank you, Oscar. Thank you so much.